In today's Madden 22 video, we're going to be going over my defense to stop all mobile quarterbacks. We are going to force the opponent to sit in the pocket, make a read, and beat us. Let's get into the breakdown. This is your one-stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for ebooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership, or you just want to become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. I am running the Ravens defensive playbook. Dime 236 is my go-to play as soon as I see Jalen Hurts, Derrick Henry's, Josh Allen's, Lamar Jackson's. Now, you can mix up your coverage behind it. What coverage shell you give your opponent is all up to you. I like to go between cover three, cover four, cover three match, and cover two, just to make his initial reads in that first two seconds bad, okay? So what I like to do is I like to spread linebackers every single time. In this formation, spreading the linebackers will scare your opponent to not want to scramble out of the pocket. 90% of Madden offenses is based on scrambling out of the pocket to get long developing routes open. Post streak combo, post crossing route combos is what Madden has become over the past two to three years. So as you can see right here, I have a run shooting defense. All this will be in the description, Patreon and eBooks. There is two to three updates over the past week and a half down in the link in the description. So first, spread your linebackers, then R1 or RB to contain twice to make sure that the game registers. You can also guess pass. Now, I like to use the chuck technique. I like to take away a deep route for that first two seconds to help my pressure get there. So once he hikes the ball, I want to bump either the point man, which would be the Y receiver or the X receiver. If I can hold them for one or two seconds at the line of scrimmage, as you can see, it gives the dogs enough time to start barking at the quarterback. So we're gonna look at that again. I will either bump the point man who is in the middle of the bunch or trips, or I will bump the outside receiver because one of them are gonna be on either a corner route, a streak, or a post. All of them take at least five seconds to develop down the field. So if you can take one of them away, right here, he puts them in the underneath route. I go back to the post behind. Use your peripherals, spread your linebackers, QB contain, gas pass, and you will be set. Okay, so right now I am running cover three and I am playing the sticks. So I see the underneath route, then he has a crosser post combo. And that right there should have been an interception. You're going to see a lot of interception opportunities. My opponent cannot get out of the pocket, so he has to sit in the pocket with the pass rush in his face and try to make a read. This brings up a fourth and nine. So you can see my guy is lined up on the opposite side. I am in the cover two shell this time. It's up to your opponent to realize. So I bluff blitz one of the linemen. I'm gonna come down to the point man and I'm gonna be pushing the right stick. Anybody that I can chuck at the line of scrimmage, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna take these underneath routes and then we get the double team block shed later on, okay? So one thing that you can do if you are playing mutt is have the chuck out ability on two of your users. I like to put it on the linebacker that might go out wide or the slot cornerback. You put that chuck ability on your guy, he's going to be fatigued. So if you can bump him just a little bit, he will usually light up and it will slow your opponent's route running down. Now, if it takes three or four seconds for him to get down the field, it's a better chance that he can get the ball jarred loose or completely miss the catch. So as you can see, we are back on defense, up 7-0. to zero. And like I said, there's another interception opportunity, but he's looking for the long developing routes. Second and 10, my opponent is getting kind of smart. He's flipping the play and I'm making adjustments. You got to be quick on this. So this time I don't get a chance to bump anybody, but his routes are all long developing. When somebody wants to spam 
money plays that they seen on YouTube, this is gonna be the best cocktail for you to cook up to be able to be successful. So as you can see, he's flipping his play. I'm bumping somebody right here, running back to this tight end row. And now he realizes at the last second, he does have a flat on the field. So that third and 10 turns into about a fourth and five, fourth and six. Right here, the one thing that I don't do is crash my defensive line. So because I'm not pinching my defensive line and crashing my defensive line, it's giving him more of an opportunity later on to be able to escape. So if you spread your linebackers, pinch your defensive line down, it's gonna make his chance of escaping later on in the game way harder. So here we go, bumping the guy right here. I'm coming back. We got the pressure dialed up. He's still looking for a streak post crossing route or streak post post combo, okay? So curl flat corner, you know you've seen it in the game. Second and 10 right here, we got the contain set up. I'm not pinching my defensive line down, so that's a mistake by me. Right there, he scrambles out of the pocket, and when you get an opportunity to scramble successfully, you have to slide right away or a turnover is gonna happen. Go in the link in the description, follow my Twitch, make sure that you get yourself the ebook and become a Patreon member. I stream two to three times a week now. Let's go.